name is Mary Poppins. I have been asked to give you my three top tips for you parents during lockdown. Well, for a start, I think we will do away with that terminology. Far too regimental. I think we will refer to it as cushioning. Much better. Firstly, all parents should make the most of this cushioning period. Embrace the extra time with your children. Learn how to be a child again. That could be anything from finger painting to somersaults on the trampoline. Whatever takes your fancy. Number two, always wear odd socks and bright clothes. It always pays to look one's best, even when not leaving the house. And lastly, I will be posting instructions on how to make your very own carpet bag. I feel that everybody should have a little magic in their lives, especially now. And remember all of the above, but stay safe and have fun in your own little cushion. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Agnes Middleton and I'm going to give you my top three tips for staying creative in lockdown. First of all, I thought, I love knitting. What can I do for all my friends? So I've knitted them all a mobile phone cover with their initial on there. I'm sure they're going to love it. Secondly, I've been doing a lot of reading and my very favourite novel is... Jane Eyre. But I got to thinking about the ending. Reader, I married him. It's not very 21st century really, is it? So I changed it and I thought, reader, I put him in a home and I went off and travelled around for a few months. Thirdly, well, we're stuck here in the house with nothing to do but look out and see the neighbours. Well, we had these new neighbours move in just before lockdown and we won't really know anything much about them. So I've made up a backstory for them. Yes, they're in the witness protection scheme because they testified to a cocaine drug baron and they decided to move into here into our quiet little village and our cul-de-sac. I don't know what I'm going to do when I meet them, finally. Anyway, that's my top three tips. Hello, Timothy Dunsfold here. Hope you're keeping well. I'd like to give you my top tips for surviving an awkward family life during the current lockdown. I've been in lockdown now for three months with my neurotic wife, Carolyn, my recently wed daughter, Daisy, and her useless husband, Gerald. I like to annoy him by calling him Martin. Anyway. Here's my tips that might help you have a less stressful time. Number one, try and get a job where you're working all night and then you can sleep all day, thus having only to spend a couple of hours seeing your family. Number two, start training for a marathon and run 26 miles every day. Then you'll be out all day and when you get home you'll be so tired you'll just want to go to sleep. Number three, Drink lots of wine in the daytime to numb the pain. If any of those don't work, then I suggest undertaking a long charity walk. Say, Land's End to John O'Groats. It's about 1,200 miles and will take you two to three months to complete. By then, hopefully the lockdown will be over. You may wonder which one I found that works best. Well, in the last three months, I've tried them all, and they do all help. But now I think it's time I went on a long walk. So, if you'll forgive me, I'll have to go. I've got a train to Cornwall to catch. Keep smiling and stay safe, everyone. Cheerio. Hello, this is Gwendolyn. 
I'm going to tell you just some things that you could do during lockdown. We all need to keep ourselves happy, so why don't you sing a happy song? Like, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, I'm H-A-P-P-Y, you know I am, because I, I am, I am H-A-P-P-Y. Or you could um, make some fairy cakes. Oh, fairy godmothers make fairy cakes, and sometimes we can put them on people's doorsteps. So if you find a fairy cake on your doorstep, it might have been your fairy godmother. Or you could read a book. Now, I've been catching up on my fairy spells because my old brain, you know, doesn't take them in for long. And some of them are really long. They're not like just abracadabra. I mean, they really are long, some of them. So you could do that and, it's, and you could escape into a nice book. How about that? 